Well, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. Um, checking out an article put out by the Los Angeles Times here on the 17th, at about 1.45. And, of course, that was today. They're talking about uh, unprecedented movement uh, detected on the California Fault, capable of producing an 8.0 earthquake. Uh, pretty interesting article. I did post it up on my Facebook page, so if you get a chance to check it out, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm also just doing a quick video update in regards to this activity as well. Um, according, you know, to the article that they're they're publishing here, um, they're mentioning here about uh, a major fault capable of producing a magnitude eight earthquake has begun moving for the first time on record. Um, a result of this year's Ridgecrest earthquake sequence destabilizing nearby faults. Now we mentioned quite a bit about this during my update videos following the July 4th and July 5th earthquakes near the Ridgecrest area earlier this year. So this is uh, being produced and put out by the Caltech scientists um, in their little journal science that they did Thursday. Uh, in the modern historical record, the 160 mile long Garlock Fault, remember we mentioned about this in, in my update videos, um, on the northern edge of the Mojave Desert has never been observed to produce either a strong earthquake or even to creep. Uh, but new satellite radar images show that the fault has started to move, causing a bulging of the land that can be viewed from space. Um, goes on to say this is surprising because we've never seen the Garlock Fault do anything, right, in their record, which, what, 150 years, 160 year record keeping, uh, and here it is, all of a sudden, it changed its behavior, um, they don't know what it means, according, you know, to the folks up here, we don't know what it means, well, it means that the pressure out there on the west coast is continuing, and, uh, uh, we're even more closer to the big one here in California than we have been in quite some time. Uh, the creeping illustrates how the Ridgecrest quakes, the largest in Southern California in two deca decades, have destabilized this remote desert region of California between the state's greatest mountain range, the Sierra Nevada, and its lowest point, Death Valley. Um, so yeah, the, not only has the garlic fault begun to creep in one section, but there's also been a substantial swarm of small earthquakes in another section of the fault, and two additional clusters of earthquakes elsewhere. Uh, one south of Owens Lake and the other in, uh, what's that, Panamint Valley, just west of Death Valley. Um, of course, they, they mentioned that you can't really predict a big one. Um, whether the, the destabilization will result in a major quake soon cannot be predicted. Um, either way, the USGS said that the July quakes have raised the chances of an earthquake magnitude 7.5 or more on the nearby Garlic and Owens Valley, Blackwater and Panamint Valley faults over the next year. So this goes along with what I'm saying that uh, we're definitely seeing a higher chance of seeing a big one down there uh, in that area, uh, which could include the San Andreas fault system there, the two plate boundaries between the North American plate and the Pacific plate. Um, a large quake on the Garlock Fault has the potential to send strong shaking to the San Fernando Valley uh, and elsewhere down there. Um, yeah, and it goes on to talk about the damage and whatnot. Here's a little illustration on uh, the San Andreas Fault, uh, the two plate boundaries down there. The Garlock Fault is that section up there, I guess in the red area, the red line area, kind of going to the east. Uh, and you can see the diagram right there showing the direction and movement of that specific fault as well. So this is a whole cluster of, uh, of, of violent shaking waiting to happen. Uh, and it will. It will happen. There's no doubt. I don't think people are prepared enough for it. Um, but uh, either way, I just wanted to share with this, uh, this article with you folks here. It goes on and on. Talks a little bit more about it. I'm not going to read it all. Um, but I will post a link in this update video. That way you guys can check it out yourself. But anyway, best thing to do, folks, is stay safe out there. Always be prepared no matter where you're at, especially in California. Uh, now is more than ever the time to be prepared. Still some earthquakes out there on that China Lake Station there near the Ridgecrest area. Um, you can see those spikes on the life seismograph station there indicating uh, continued earthquakes in that region. 
uh, small ones, but definitely earthquake activity nonetheless, which, uh, like I said, verifies the continued pressure. Stay safe, folks.